Hey guys, welcome to the X-Ring. On today's episode, I'm going to review a pretty rare product, and unless you're in the military or something like that, you probably haven't seen a whole lot of these or don't get to see them at any matches or anything like that. It was uh, a device that was invented uh, for Special Operations Forces. It was a request uh, to basically have a unit. It's called a Wilcox Raptor. Okay, R-A-P-T-A-R. And uh, basically, it was a unit that you could do your ranging. So you've got visible laser, IR laser, and that's actually got dual IR lasers uh, because one will function as a spot or a flood at night. So I, I don't use the dual laser function unless I'm shooting at night and need something to illuminate the surrounding of the target, but it's called a Wilcox Raptor. Okay, you guys can see that. You've got your fire button here. You fires for the laser here, but when you're looking for a solution, you'll do that. And uh, basically you have your controls here. I'm gonna light it up for you so you guys can see. There you go, just like that. And I have all these different modes for ballistics, different profiles, things like that. I've got this set up for 6.5 Creedmoor right now. But guys, this is not a toy. This thing actually works. Uh, price point on this is gonna be up there, somewhere around five to $7,000, okay? And you guys might say, well, you know, that's, that's cheating. Well, guys, we're not watching CRT TVs anymore, okay? Uh, almost everyone here has got flat panel TVs in their home. Technology changes. We're not using old cell phones that are, you know, like a sat phone or something like that. I mean, they've gotten smaller and smaller. And when you've got other guys that are using these, the last event that I went to, I know I counted 20 plus of these, but it was a lot of military guys as well, a lot of law enforcement guys. Uh, but what the beauty of this is, and I, I've looked for reviews on these and there's very few. I mean, it shows some stuff at SHOT Show, but I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works. Basically, you have to have some type of mounting device. You could mount this on a rail in a 90 degree position, left side or right side, but the problem is rails flex. So instead, what I've done is I went with a, a, with a Raptor mount, uh, goes on top of the scope, and it is not a silencer code radius, okay? Silencer code radius only gives you distance. It's a laser range finder. It's nowhere near as good as one of these. Of course, the price point's completely different, but this also has applied ballistics in it. It has its own barometer. It has its own humidity reading, temperature, and all of that. So I'll show you how it works, how quick it is. Um, it's not going to make you an instant winner, but it's another tool that you can throw on the, uh, in the belt there to uh, put on the rifle um, to make you get more first round hits depending on the size of the target. There is no substitute for good marksmanship skills. Just because someone buys one of these doesn't mean they don't need to keep data books, learn how to read wind, understand what's going on with air density, altitude, and all of that. But it is a piece of high-speed gear that I wanted to uh, bring to the table that you guys see so you guys know what's out there. So we'll get started with it here in just a second, and I'll show you how it works. Stay tuned. All right, so guys, continuing on with this Wilcox Raptor, let's say I've got a target down there at 500 yards, which I do. Depending on if it's a blind stage or if it's a known stage where they give you five minutes of walkthrough and they let you see it, if they give you the data and give you the range beforehand, it's not so bad. You'll just plug that into your Kestrel. So what I'll do is I'll turn this on. I've already done an environmental on it, on these Kestrels. Guys, a Kestrel 5700 with Bluetooth or applied ballistics, it is invaluable, especially if you're going from different locations across the country or the world. It'll take in everything from that elevation to the barometric pressure to the humidity, and it will give you your drops based on where you're at. It might not be exact, but it gets you pretty darn close, uh, close enough to where that first shot, you're pretty much gonna see the impact pretty close to the target itself. So if you don't have one of these, this is very, very invaluable. Now we're getting into that electronics age and these things do a great, great job. Now, if you don't have this, doesn't mean you can't win a match. And I've won matches before just using Strelock app on my phone and taking local pressure, you know, station temperatures from it. But this Kestrel is really nice because it's on site, it's right now, it's right here. So what I wanna show you how this, how this works is, I'm gonna go to the range card. I'm already on this rifle, I've already done an environmental and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down to range card. It's that simple. And so you guys are gonna see right there, I know you can see in the camera, 500 yards is calling for 3.17 mils, okay? I haven't put any wind values or anything like that on it, but if it was a stage where they give me that value beforehand, then I'll go ahead and write it down. I'll put it on my data card, and I know that 500 yard shot's gonna be somewhere about 3.2. Maybe I'll hold a little low because the call is 3.17. But the way this Raptor works is, and I'm gonna take this off the clip so you guys can kind of see this real time, 
is when you go to the Raptor here, I'm gonna do this in reverse so you guys can see it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on and you guys can maybe read what's in the screen there, but it's gonna tell me what profile I'm on. And that's the profile for this rifle. I've already put everything in it. You can import all your values from your Kestrel itself. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the target mode. Now I've already zeroed this with the visible laser. You can do it with the IR laser as well. But all I need to do is basically hit the solution button up here, hold it on the 500 yard target. It's gonna tell me the distance and it will also give me my elevation correctness or my elevation um, that I needed to hold. It'll also give you wind values if you've put input any in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video for just a second. I'm gonna get behind the rifle. I'm gonna let you see what that yeah, looks so like. So basically I'm gonna take this rifle. This is clean, cold bore. I've done no shooting or anything today. And I am going to load a magazine. I've got the unit on. Now I can either get the solution here or I've got a remote pressure pad that I've put right here. So clean cold bore, the Kestrel was calling for 3.17. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my target. So there's the 500 yard steel. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the button. It's ranging and you guys can see right here, it did not get a value. And the reason is, is I had my caps on. You gotta always protect those caps. I'm trying to keep the dust down. So here we go again, 500 yards, press, and it should say about 500-ish. There it is, 502 yards, 3.2 mils. Now the solution on the Kestrel was 3.17. So at this point, I could either hold or I could dial it in. So it's saying 3-2. Let's go and I'll do a hold, 3-2 on my reticle. There's 3-2. You guys heard that hit, it was a dead center hit. So this is an invaluable piece of equipment for quick ranging if you don't know the range, but this, like I said, is gonna cost you. It's quite, it's quite expensive, but I'm starting to see more and more of these units. They make military and civilian units. The only difference is, is one's eye safe and one's not, but it's called a Wilcox Raptor. And guys, I've tested this thing out to a thousand yards. It is spot on. Once you get everything calibrated, you're good to go. You just got to remember that you're on zero whenever you range for this, because this is going to be for the crosshairs of the scope. So hopefully, you, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. You know, a look into some some of this technology that's out here nowadays. Great, great option, Wilcox Raptor. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. We'll talk to you soon.